Alright, hey guys, I'm Simon, we are back in Minecraft. I have run out of dirt, so I was uh, working on the skyscraper, putting down the, the plinth or the foundations at the bottom of the tower. You know how I said I was going to fill that up with dirt? Anyway, I've run out of dirt. So uh, we're not going to do the skyscraper today. We are going back to the fireworks. And... I mean, since I've run out of dirt and cobblestone, I figured I'll build the fireworks mostly underground. Or, you know, the mechanisms of it, mostly underground, so that I'll collect materials at the same time. Um, what else is there to say? Not much. So I scoped out a good site for the fireworks set up over there. Hi, chicken. Over there somewhere. So it's far enough away from other buildings so that, you know, any stray dynamite or TNT wouldn't destroy anything too important. And also I want to set up a new site as well for new stuff to be built. I know that there's a lot of half-finished stuff, like there's the water temple there, which is not entirely finished. And, you know, the skyscraper's not finished, the wall's not finished. But that's not a... I, I think I just... Wait, is that the site? Yeah, that's it. Is. So, uh, yeah, so I'm starting a lot of stuff, but... You know, it's keeping, thing, keeping things interesting. I'll get back to the other stuff when I feel like it. Let's see, so this is not the site. The site is back here. And I guess we're gonna... Well, maybe we can keep most of the trees, because the mechanism's gonna be underground, mostly. If you imagine, you know, bits of obsidian... So the, the barrel, I guess, of the gun, of the fireworks, will be visible at the top in obsidian, and then the rest of the thing will be underground, you can see the... I guess it'll be like a grid of little obsidian squares. Um... So, first off, we need to figure out the redstone wiring. Uh, I think I explained in the last video of the fireworks set that I want. I think I said 5x5 five five grid. I think I'm going to go with 7x7. Seven seven. We just have to figure out how big it is first before we make the final decision so that each, you know, so it'll be 7x7 seven seven of these firework launchers in a square and each one will have a variable timer so you can set the delay on it so that, you know, you can draw patterns in the sky with the fireworks if you choose to, you know, by setting up some you know, firing a bit later than the others, and then so on and so forth, and you can create, like, you know, animated explosions in the sky, so to speak. So, this area is relatively flat. There's also a hill here, a hill over there, and a hill over there. So then you can kind of, well, I can, kind of build, I guess, viewing platforms up here for the fireworks. So imagine if the fireworks are underneath the ground here, you can stand up there, and well you can't because it's single player, but if you're one of those people who want to set this thing up in a multiplayer game and then play with your friends or whatever, then you, know, you can take the save file and then do a little firework displays if you have, you know, viewing platforms. And I guess I can do that in single player too if the switch was rigged up so that we have switches up there, well maybe I'll do that. Rig up the switches so that you can switch it up on the viewing platforms up there. Anyway, that, that's much later on. For now, let's... Well, for one, figure out how to build this. And... Okay, that's it. Just one. <laughs> figure out how to build this. So, um... I've got, well, this much dirt left, at least. I got a bit of redstone and, you know, the usual stuff. And uh, I guess I want to figure out the circuitry for the timer first. Now... Okay, let's just go for it. So imagine if you have a wall of switches. In fact, you have 10 switches. Now the question is, how many switches can you fit in this space? How small can you make this setup? I'd imagine you'd need a space in between. Do you? Maybe you don't. Ok, 
can you get 10 isolated wires out of that? Maybe you can. Um, let me just see what this does. If I... Hold on. Alright, I just had to sneeze there. I'll just cut that out. I'm not gonna sneeze on you guys. Alright, what if I... do that. Does that actually trigger? It does. It doesn't. It, it does, but it doesn't. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That that sure as hell it doesn't. Hmm. Okay, so Um No, because Hmm Um That does. Oh, I didn't put it. Okay, that that does, but okay, that doesn't. So the bottom ones definitely don't affect the top ones. Okay, okay. We can work with this. Well, you know, not like that. So more like that. So that would give, actually, let's just go up because we have another set of switches underneath. So I guess going up with, would give us the most amount of space to work with. I'm trying to. I I said this right, I wanna to try to get ten oh well ten isolated wires, meaning like the ten wires don't interfere with each other. I wanna get ten wires out of the ten switches. Alright, so underneath here does that work for us? Does that even... well, we'll find out. Uh, that works? No, I'm sure this does not work. No, that, that, that definitely does not... Wait a minute, what am I doing? I don't need to do that. Because... Conveniently... Yeah, I don't know what I was doing anyway. That doesn't need to be there. Does that work? No. No, that doesn't. But that does. Yes, that works. So imagine, I mean, there's already that stuff up there, so the 10 switches, I guess, would have to be, you know, behind a, a bit of something like that. Oops. Um, like that. You can put dirt on torches, by the way, which is interesting, I think. So, I mean, if you can have that sort of setup, then you can, you know, you don't see any wires on this side, right? So that's good. That's good. And that's good. 
and nothing interferes with anything else. Okay, great, 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 great. great. All right, all right. So we got ten wires coming out of the other side, and that's not too difficult. Now the delay circuit, which I think is going to um, which way should I, I'll go that way. All right, let's put a switch here, and then we piston. So imagine no imagine that and then we have two of those except I need Wait a minute, there's 10 of these redstone ticks in a second, right? So I need 5, that's only 4. And that's only 3, because it's 1 and 4, so the difference is only 3, in fact. Yeah, uh, 3 ticks, is that alright? No, I should... No, I should do this properly. Let's move this back. So... 1, 2, 1... Three, four, f four, five. So the difference between those two should be half a second. I hope you guys are following me right at this. So you got. That seems more like one second. Have I done this wrong? Hold on, let me check Wikipedia, not Wikipedia, let me check the Minecraft wiki. Alright, well according to the wiki this is correct, oops. According to the wiki this is correct. So, um, who am I to argue, right? So here's the idea. So when there's no charge, or when there's no, sorry, when there's no Yeah, when that switch is not on... It, oh, sticky piston. Damn it. Okay, let me grab my sticky pistons. Can't believe I messed this up. Ah, uh, be right back. Alright, so, sticky pistons. Sticky pistons. So imagine if this switch is on, then... Well, I'm gonna need to do the other side, don't I? Then whatever's coming out the other side is... Can I? No, I can't. So whatever's coming out the other side would be half a second slower than it would be otherwise. Right? 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 Yeah, right. And so then we just chain these up like You know, like 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 that. Well, not like that, but like that. And yeah, never mind. Let's just take the other one. So chain them up like that, and then you know again have the receiver on the other side, and so on and so forth. So, you know, that would be, wait a minute, are you serious? This thing is passing current through that? I thought, wait, I thought that wouldn't pass the current. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, my bad. Am I seeing things? Oh no, that's right. Yeah, so it doesn't. Yeah, so the piston doesn't pass the current, but the block does. So if you retract that block, then it's like half a second faster than it would be otherwise. So by doing that, for all ten of them, then every switch you pull down, 
will add another half a second to the delay on this circuit. Right? So then if you have all of these set up for all of the um, firework launches, then you have variable timers on them. You can set them to, to delay anything from well, relative to the first you know, thing firing. It'll be even anything from zero to half a second delay. But the next thing I want to do is to make it more compact, because that's quite compact. And the more compact it is, the more I can you know, fit everything into a small space, and therefore I can fit more of these launches closer together. I don't know if I actually want them closer together. I don't want them too far apart, I know that much. Maybe I need to test this out just to see how far apart I want them. Because the explosions are a certain size, and if they overlap, then, th then whatever you draw in the sky wouldn't be as clear. If they're too far apart, then it might also be unclear. Anyway, for now let's try to make it compact, because you know, if you make them compact you can always build it further apart. Whereas if it's not compact, then it's just fat, and you can't really change it afterwards. So that's one. Where can we put the other one? I think this would actually work. Like have a double back on itself. Well, I need at least this much space, don't I? Well, firstly, let's just check that none of these actually transmit upwards. No, good. But this does. No, it doesn't. Um. Hmm. 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 Well, that's embarrassing. That it transmits through, 